Finally have the Wave 2 action figures. The Mega Man cartoon from Ruby Spears. Go through all of them. Pretty rare finds. Already did a video of the first wave that you can check out at the end of this one in case you missed it. First up, jumping to Mega Man 4 with Bright Man. A little bit interesting way to do these figures. Usually they had a little bit more articulation. Some of these are a little limited. His legs are just turning on the spot. And the arms actually aren't on like a pivot joint. It's just up and down on top of them. But he has a cannon with a feature, of course, because unlike most of them that just come with a separate missile piece that you could give Mega Man to shoot his cannon, Bright Man here, nothing extra. Unfortunately, you have to use his light bulb on the top of his head. It actually comes out, and that is the missile piece. So he has to look kind of goofy without it. Ooh, what am I? The top doesn't have any launching feature, it just sits at the top. Cool, like, light bulb effect, got a little shape inside there, and clear plastic. But with the same mechanism that Mega Man has, he can shoot his light bulb for, like, a flash attack. He's got the old flash stopper, kind of like Mega Man 2, Flash Man. He can shoot his light bulb, and then, of course, the feature of the series, Mega Man can steal Bright Man's weapon and use it against the Robot Master. So I think he probably should have came with a separate weapon piece since he actually has his own cannon. A lot of them don't have that. But it just slides in there. He needs this on the top to actually have his look with the light bulb on top of his head. But a cool one, funny that they jumped all the way to Mega Man 4 like that. But also for Mega Man 4, Drill Man! Which again, just the up and down on the arms. Not like a lot of the extra motion that some of the originals had. And just turning legs. Nothing on the head except... I think the top is probably supposed to... Yes, it can turn. I think there's just some paint app. This one in pretty newish condition. But that is turnable. As is his arm drills here. But this one is a launching on the left side. You can shoot a drill missile. A lot of extra details and bits. Colors and everything. It looks pretty awesome. Again, I always had these to represent the game more at the time. So I would love to have these, but I never got to have these extra ones as a kid. Never found them. Of course, the drill can be used by Mega Man. It's the same shape as all the other missiles. But he needs his drill in there to have his drill hand look. But the articulation is a little weird with him. That he doesn't have the free moving... But he does have a little pivot here with the launcher just so he can aim and fire that. Don't poke your eye out shooting at yourself. Ow! And we'll go back down to Mega Man 3 for Snake Man, the only Mega Man 3 Robot Master. Same weird limit on the articulation, just up and down and the spinning legs. Of course, he has kind of some interesting shapes here going on that are going to limit some of his movement. But he does have the big snake tail in the back that actually is movable as well, all the way around. But the head isn't going to move because he has a huge snake helmet there. The snaky eyes underneath. And he's got his snake cannon. Same feature as Mega Man. He can shoot his search snake missile. Probably one of the longest uh, projectiles in the series there. Snap that in. He can shoot his search snake. And it's gone. It'd be a little difficult to play with these because you don't have some of the weaknesses to be using against the Robot Masters. You have to make up your own weakness chart, not based off of the game. Mega Man with his Search Snake, stolen weapon. Definitely look good with the rest of them green, just for some different color. And the one I had to do the most searching to get a hold of from Mega Man 1, Elect Man. Boy, I wish I had this as a kid, because... <laughs> You could never tell what the heck Elect Man was supposed to look like on the blurry television. But he has a lot more of the articulation of the older figures like Mega Man, where he can move his legs around all different ways. The arms are different ways here with the hinge. Not sure why the others had to be such a different shape, but he even has his cannon, fully turning head. A lot of the others are pretty obnoxiously sized. Didn't have that. He's got his electric mask, extra colors and such. Of course, the lightning bolt, kind of thunder beam weapon that he can shoot. It's a pretty big one. I wish they would have maybe just tried to complete the Mega Man 1 enemies. It would have been kind of cooler just to have the complete, because now we're just missing Iceman and Fireman from the first game. I'd have liked the set, but also like Mega Man and Proto Man from the Series 1, he actually can take his cannon arm off 
And he comes with an alternate hand just as a normal kind of hand here you can put in. Because I don't think Electman really used a cannon arm to be shooting his thing. He kind of would just shoot his electric maneuvers. You know, so however you wanted to play with it. But a cool bonus feature that they just let you control the look of the figure with either the normal hand or the cannon as well. And of course, these parts are interchangeable with Mega Man as well. So you can even give him the Elect Man cannon if you want something different just for his appearance as well. Of course, not able to switch every character's weapon like that. Looks like Drill Man isn't going to work with the feature. But you can take Bright Man's cannon, but Bright Man didn't come with a normal fist arm. And Snake Man's cannon also comes out as well, but he didn't come with a normal arm either. So I'm not sure why they even included those, but if you were really into Mega Man defeating the Robot Masters, he could even steal their cannon arms, if they have them. Not all of them have a firing arm like that. But I really love this line. Their appearances of the figures, they're of the cartoon of the time but they're very close to a lot of the designs in the video game. I would have collected a whole lot of Robot Masters just from those first NES games. You could have had one heck of a toy line going. It was difficult to find. Very lucky I even was able to get a hold of these. And especially Alekman himself was the hardest one to find. If you missed it, you'll want to see the first wave of the Mega Man figures. And if you've already seen that, I opened plenty of other 90s and retro action figures here. Old figures or figures based on older shows, movies, and etc. So hopefully you get subscribed and give these super rare Mega Man figures a like. That way we can all see you in the next video.